Hello, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another Quick Bite, Living the Word. Today our words should come from a prophecy of the Messiah. I mean, we're celebrating the Messiah's birth, so why not talk about the prophecies in the Old Testament that speak about the Messiah? Uh, this prophecy in particular that talks about the Messiah comes from Isaiah chapter 61. Uh, and it, verses In there we read verses 1 and 2 together, if you would. Isaiah 61, verses 1 and 2, we read these words. It says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted and to proclaim the liberty to captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. So in that reading, in that prophecy, and what we read about the Messiah, here's what we need to understand, what he had come for. We talked about this a little bit yesterday in our Sunday morning message. He was born for love. He was love born. But listen to what he says. He's coming to preach good tidings to the meek. This is good news that he has come. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Maybe lately you feel brokenhearted, you feel downtrodden, you feel like just like uh, overwhelmed. This is what the Lord is about. This is what he does. He heals those things. He, he binds them up. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Maybe you feel lately like you're trapped. You don't have any escape, whatever the case may be. He's telling you there is liberty, and it's liberty found in him. And to open the prison to them that are bound. Those of us who were bound in, in, in uh, captivity of our sin, those who were bound in uh, hell, he has come to set us free, to loose us from that, to give us eternity if we would desire it. And to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Now, what I find interesting about this, though, is he actually, when he reads this prophecy in Luke, uh, uh, in the temple, in the, in the synagogue, as he's reading this uh, the, the, the prophecy from Isaiah, from the scroll of Isaiah, saying, in essence, here I am, to all that would listen, he stops right there where it says, and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. He, there's a comma there. And he stops reading right there. Why? Because the next lines is, and the day of vengeance of, the, of God. In other words, it's kind of on a timeout. He hasn't, he's not, he's going to return and bring the day of vengeance of God, but that's not what he came for the first time. The first time he came to set us free, to die upon the cross, to give us hope. Now, what I love about this in particular is the prophecy itself says that he would be everything that Isaiah 9 talks about, the wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. All those things that we read about all the time on Christmas cards, Isaiah 61.1 actually talks about as well. And it literally says that he's coming to do these things. He's taking care of us. So maybe today you feel a little bit like overwhelmed, a little bit beat down, a little bit just uh, heaviness upon your shoulders. Mondays can do that to a lot of us. Just remember who Jesus is, why the Messiah came. He came to set you free. He came because he loves you. He came to bind up the brokenhearted. He came to bring grace into your life. This is such a beautiful season, a beautiful thought. This week, we're literally approaching the day that we choose to celebrate the Lord and Savior's birth. And what an amazing thing to celebrate, the fact that he has come to set us free from our sin, come to heal up our broken hearts, Come to let us know what love really is all about. Well, I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.